वेलकम टू गणिता सूत्रास मैथमेटिक्स ऑन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स टुडे वी आर टेकिंग अप यूनिट थ्री इन दिस यूनिट थ्री वी विल बी फोकसिंग अपॉन टेक्स्ट फॉर्मुलेशंस एज वी नो देर आर वन टू ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर्मुलेशंस ऑफ द टेक्स्ट ऑफ गणिता सूत्रास वन टू सिक्सटीन फर्स्ट फार्मूलेशन इज एकाधिकेन एंड द सेकंड फार्मूलेशन इज पूर्वेन दिस पेयर ऑफ फार्मूलेशन एकाधिकेन पूर्वेन मेक ए कंप्लीट टेक्स्ट ऑफ गणिता सूत्र वन द गणिता सूत्रास टुगेदर विद गणिता उपसूत्रास एज वी नो मेक ए टोटल रेंज ऑफ 519 letters of which ek adhikain purve is a scripture of just nine letters and we know that value 519 is value accepting organization 2 raised to power 9 7 further we know that eka adhikain purve is a scripture which is of respectively 9 and 7 letters with it we are going to be face to face with that values 2 7 and 9 or of prime roles and of these prime roles further we know that along sol cell bal ohm from the bindu sarovar a brahman domain of value 9 there is seven streams flow and it takes up till the second component this way we are face to face with a very blissful rich spectrum as to how the text of ganita sutras is inherently of values features and format which is unfolding itself at each step and that way this organization as it is deserves to be chased very gently step by step from today we are approaching this text a formulation wise before we take up the formulation ekadhikain let me again point out that this composition this formulation is a composition which is availing nine letters therefore ultimate constituent of this text this composition this formulation or the letters and these letters we know take us to a devanagari alphabet so we are for ultimately having a resource reservoir of devanagari alphabet so the alphabet provides us letters and these letters of devanagari alphabet are carrying along with them values and formats as per their placements in the alphabet accordingly to have a reach at the values features and format of organization as well as of its mathematics and working rule of formulations like eka dikain we have to be conscious with respect to each letter and its placement in the sequence and the letters we know being of the format of devanagari alphabet will be having its own values and also a specific placement in the format and with placement the letters also will be carrying 
the geometric formats along with them. Therefore, values and formats of each letter as such is available here and it is with availability of these values and formats of every letter that when we will be sequentially progressing and having a reach from first letter to second letter, second letter to third letter and ult ultimately reaching up to letter 9, there will be a definite mathematical format, definite mathematical formulation, definite mathematical processing steps and a end reach as well and this all as such will bring us face to face with the mathematics of the formulation Eka Adhikain Purve. Let us revisit Devanagari alphabet format to have a specific conscious attention as to the specific values accepted by the individual letters and also the geometric formats accepted by the letters of Devanagari alphabet as per their placement. With this background, now let us have a visit to the formulation Eka the Kane and for it the first thing which we shall take care, we shall take note is that the TCV values, transcendental code values means Dive Ank Vivasta. These transcendental values, these Dive Ank Vivasta, which is available, is to be visited at the outset. As per this TCV values organization, the letters 1 to 9, letter A to letter O will be having values 6, 1, 2, 7, 2, 1, 6, 8 and 1. One may have a pause here and take note that the letter Ka we know is a having a format as a Ka Brahma and with it the value comes to be 4. The letter Ka is inherently having inbuilt values format and same unfolds itself as value 4. Further, we also know that letter Ka is, has inherent built up that along the manifestation format of fourfold creation of a creator's space presided by Lord Brahma, there is a transition to value 5 being the value of a Ka Brahma, Ka Shiv. It is this feature which is the inherent transcendental feature of the format of Devanagari alphabet. Therefore, we shall be very conscious about this feature of Devanagari alphabet letters as that letter Ka as Ka Brahma. Brahma is a presiding deity of creator space, force space, leads to Ka unfolding value 4. We know value 1 is the value of a soul syllable Om and soul syllable Om is a setup of quadruple components and this quadruple components is a setup of a creator's space, force space, which is presided by Lord Brahma, creator the supreme, and as such, the value 1 attached to value Ka as per its placement in Devanagari alphabet ultimately leads to inner, inner folding and which leads to value 4. Further, we know that Lord Brahma, when meditates with the cavity of his own heart, where is the seat of a transcendental Lord, then this value 4 unfolds its transcendental base and it comes to be value 5. As such, one shall have a pause here and take note that TCV values 
of individual letters as such while provide value 1 to letter ka the same in creator the space in a manifestation format provides value 4 to letter ka and further the transcendence from the manifested format of the creator space this value transits and transforms into value 5. With it the Eka Adhikain formulation is of a setup which has inherent unfolding process and the first step of this inherent unfolding process is that it leads us to the manifested creations format of a creator's space for space which is presided by Lord Brahma. It further brings us face to face with the transcendental phenomenon as that Lord Brahma, creator the supreme, meditates with a cavity of his own heart where is a seat of a transcendental Lord and with it Lord Brahma multiplies tenfold as ten Brahmas with the grace of a transcendental Lord Shiv, the presiding deity, the presiding Lord of a five space. These features of letter Ka as of values 1, 4 and 5 are the features with which we have to be face to face and it is only with this appreciation and absorption of these inherent features of the letter Ka that we will be face to face with the mathematical domain, the mathematical formulation, the mathematical format, the mathemati mathematical features coming out as and getting associated this formulation will be available to us. We have to be very conscious, we have to be very gentle, we have to reach at the innocence, affine, gentle values of the existence phenomenon as in terms of it only the transcendental grace it will bestow upon the affine mind. Here it would be relevant to take note that we human beings are f having a fate of a existence phenomenon within a, this human body designated as a Purusha. Within this body head is its organ. Within head is a brain, mind. Within mind is the intelligence field. An intelligence field is having a consciousness base. Further, the consciousness itself is of seven phases and stages. The first is a waking state, Jagritavastha. Second is a sleep state, Swapanavastha. Third is a deep sleep state, Sushapti Avastha. Fourth is a Turiyavastha. Now, with Turiyavastha, we reach at the middle of the progression and beyond that are the transcendental state, the God state and unity state. Now, these seven states of consciousness as such provide a transcendental base for our intelligence field. Therefore, the intelligence is a feature and a value of our existence phenomenon in terms of which we are going to interact with the manifested and transcendental existence features of our solar universe itself. The mathematics of Ganita Sutras is a mathematics of the values and features of manifested and transcendental formats of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe. This being so, we shall revisit the text of Benita Sutras which we know are 16 in number and then in addition we know there are 13 Upsutras. This makes a total value 29 and we also know this value 29 
is a TCB value of a formulation Brahma. A step ahead, we also know that the Ganita Sutras are really in all 16, in all 36 letters and this value 36 is the TCB value of a formulation Paranava. Further we know that value 16 is the value which is equal to 2 raised to power 4 which is parallel to the dimensional frame of a creator's space quadruple spatial dimensions parallel to the quad quadruple heads of Lord Brahma creator the Supreme. These features as these are, these are simultaneously available and are attracted and with these values we have to be face to face with the mathematical domain of the formulation Ekadhi K. Let us further have a pause here and take note that the formulation Ekadhi K with the TCV values as of three folds as these are, are also accepting a distinct values as vowels and consonants. It would be blissful to take note that this formulation Ekadhikane is availing as many as five letters. Five vowels are there and the consonants are quadruple. The Ekadhikane formulation is a composition of five vowels and four consonants. Now, the Akshar Vidya, we know the syllables counting, the Akshar Vidya as such is of a Sankhya Vidya which gives us the values that uniform values of 1 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 0, 3 raised to power 0, 4 raised to power 0, 5 raised to power 0. Each vowel is having a same Akshar value 1 and with it the total values of the syllables code values for these vowels come to be 5. The Vedic code values are the values which are attached to consonants only and these, as per this code value, these letters, four letters, four consonants of the formulation Ekadhikane will lead to value 9. One shall have a pause here and take note that the syllables code values for this formulation comes to be 5, Vedic code value for this formulation comes to be 9. TCV values code value for it comes to be ultimately 40 2 here comes to be 40 and here comes to be 34 so if we are having at the initial stage of value 1 for letter ka it takes to value 34 if we are at creator's space then the value comes to be 40 and if we are in a transcendental space the value comes to be 42 these are the features which are simultaneously available and are simultaneously attracted for this formulation. This is to be kept in mind. Our vision is to be as per these features and our strategy and the tools shall be worked out and for working these out, first of all today, we are taking up the formulation Ekadhikane for its simple rendering. And we know the formulation Ekadhikane is availing a formulation Ek, which would mean one, and formulation Adhik, which would mean more than. And Kane raises a question, one is more than then comes to be more than what? Naturally, the answer ultimately will come to be a zero. It is this way we see that this formulation is inherently a formulation which is raising a question and the answer for this question is to be provided by the second formulation. We are here having a pause and we are not going further for providing an answer for the question being raised in this formulation as to it we will be coming to when we will be taking up the second formulation 
here we are restricting ourselves up till the formulation 1 and the formulation 1 as we have seen is raising a question 1 is more than what therefore 1 is there so 1 is as a one step 1 is a entity and 1 is a step and 1 is a processing mode anyway so whatever the modes may be prior to it but it is going to be one step ahead this meaning one shall reach at the simple rendering meaning of the formulation ekadhike and taking it to a mathematical rule we shall avail this rule to reach at the cardinality of the finite steps the first thing the first reach value which shall be approached on its first principles is in the form of the cardinality of the finite sets so this cardinality of the finite sets on first principles as are inherently embedded in the formulation ekadhikain is to be availed and it will be a blissful exercise to have a pairing of counts let us pair the counts 1 2 and 3 with the elements of sets say a b and c therefore this pairing of counts is the feature is the value is the mathematics is the processing steps of a pure values leading to the applied values of the working rule of the formulation ekadhik with set say 2 4 6 8 10 we can have a pairing of counts say with the elements a b c etc and then let us go specific and see if our set is 2 4 6 8 10 then we can have a pairing of 1 2 3 etc with 2 4 6 8 etc by having first pairing say of 1 with a 2 and then a step ahead one more step will take to 2 to 4 then we'll reach 3 to 6 will reach 8 to 10 4 to 8 and so on so it is this pairing of counts with elements of a set and the set being 2 4 6 8 will give us a concrete illustration as to how the mathematics of the working rule one more than more of the formulation ekadhikain is ultimately helping us have a pairing of counts and this pairing of counts will help us have a correspondence between the two sets here 1 2 3 4 all natural numbers and here these are the even numbers so this pairing this correspondence this function this carry forward this transformation this coordination this interlinking in whatever the way we look at at this stage then we can say that formulation ekadhikain form adhikain is leading to a working rule one more than before and in terms of this one more than before we can firstly can reach at the numbers 1 2 3 4 itself and then further have its pairing with another sets we can have a correspondence and we can have a coordination then this can further be with the set of primes so 2 3 5 7 for the prime so 2 will have a coordination with prime 2 this 2 will have with the coordination second second prime 3 then the third new natural number will have coordination with third prime fourth will have the fourth prime and so on with it we see that this cardinality of finite sets reach as the counts and then the comparison the correspondence the coordination is also sequentially flowing as in very illustrative concrete phases and stages and with it the mathematics of the applied values of the working rule and the potentialities of the working rule of eka adhikain as such is bringing us face to face with a very big reach and this reach is going to be of a very wide very rich spectrum say further we can have this pairing with the squares 1 4 9 12 then we can have with the cubes we can have with the nth power and then we can have a set of points so the first point the second point third point fourth point and so on we can have with the lines first interval second interval third interval fourth interval so on we can have with the surfaces 
say first square, second square, third square and so on. Then we can have with the solids, we can have with the hypersolids and the reach of line as a set of points is going again going to be a very wonderful phenomenon as that we are having a line which is a taken a set of points and then with it we are reaching at a pairing and coordination with the set of points. So single line as a set of points reaching giving a reach to us with the points as well. That reach could be with the surfaces. So these points which give us a reach to a line and the lines can further give us a reach to a surface and as such ultimately sequentially we are step by step by the rule of one more than before are reaching from points to line and line to lines and surface and then to the solids and then to hypersolids and like that set of counts of infinities we know this is the phenomenon this is going to be the reach when we will take line as infinite points and one more than before could be of infinite frequency and this infinite frequency say of points culminating into a line and infinite lines culminating into the surface infinite surfaces culminating to solid infinite solids culminating to hypersolids will ultimately make up a phenomenon a phenomenon which will bring us face to face with the mathematics of the infinite infinities, infinite number of infinities. Therefore, we can have a pause, we can see, we can visualize, we can realize as to how powerful this rule of formulation ekadikain is and if we are faithfully chasing this rule step by step on its first principles then we will see that it is because of this features of this formulation that ultimately Ganita Sutra 1 itself is unfolding itself as the source of Sutra. We will be coming to these features as to how the, this formulation Ekadhikain with together with the subsequent second formulation Purvain together making a Ganita Sutra 1 as a set of 16 letters and there are 16 sutras and then we can have a correspondence further this rule will take us to that we in terms of it we can reach at the reach at the Sthapatya Mairinga rod we know Sthapatya Mairing rod is a synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to 6. Further we know that hypercubes are fourfold manifestation layers 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 quadruple space contents as lumps manifest as domains and they play the roles of a dimension, boundary, domain and origin and these can have a sequential array sequential organization and manifestation so all these features are really very big range of features however it will be a very blissful exercise that we all shall sit comfortably and accept this as a exercise it is going to be a very blissful exercise for us that we shall apply the rule of Ekadhikain formulation and sequentially reach as we are reaching here in 14 steps. The first step we are taking corresponding 1 with a 1 space, 2 with a 2 space, 3 with a 3 space, 4 with a 4 space, 5 with a 5 space and 6 with a 6 space. So it is just like cardinality of finite sets in comparison. Then further we can see that we can have one and one space together as a single entity then one and two and one space and two space as the entity once one two three and one space two space and three space as the single entities and then pairing so it is this pairing stage to this next pairing stage is a very blissful reach is a very blissful attainment and one shall sit comfortably and to glimpse that this reach this attainment 
of having a pairing of one with a one space than having a pairing of one and one space with one and two. So this one and two as one space and a two space. Now it is the, this reach from this stage to this stage which deserves to be imbibed well for it. One shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to see how the rule one more than before is ultimately leading us to this double sequencing features. At next step we can see if we have these quadruple numbers O minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 at next step we can have 0, 1, 2 and 3 and next step 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is this sequential increase in all the quadruple components of a first element Q1. So Q1 itself is a set of a quadruple elements and then it, at the next step is a sequentially increase of one value for each of the quadruples and like that you can reach it here. From here we can again have a correspondence with minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 as minus 1 space, 0 space and 1 space for this 0, 1, 2 and 3 we can have a 0 space, 1 space, 2 space, 3 space therefore from the set of Q's we can have a set of H's. It is this feature which again is leading us to a very big attainment, a very blissful attainment, a stage which is taking us for further enrichment from this steps then a step ahead we again have a pairing h1 first element h1 and h2 second element h1 h2 h3 third element and like that reach so it is again going to be a further blissful attainment with it we can have ultimate a further way of reach at first element could be 1 cross 1 then 2 cross 2 then 3 cross 3 4 cross 4 5 cross 5 6 cross 3 so we are reaching at the grades now these grades can be sequentially can be a formulation 1 and 2, 2 and 3, then 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, like that we can have this reach of the grids being embedded, formatted in a sequential way and it is going to be a very, very big reach. It is going to be a very big, big attainment. Therefore, like that we shall accept a exercise and this exercise should be to reach at Sthapatya Mairing Rod as a synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to 6, the representative regular bodies of 1 space to 6 space, with each hypercube being a fourfold manifestation layers. And this setup, this synthetic setup, as a reach on first principles from the formulation rule of Eka Dikain as such will bring us face to face with as to how potent, how potential, how beautifully equipped are the working tools of the Ganita Sutras. Each formulation is independently deserves to be changed and each formulation is having a lot number of features and then only thereafter we will try to attempt to coordinate the features reached at by single formulation with the next formulation and with it when we will be reaching from formulation 1 to formulation 24 we can imagine how big this mathematics is going to be and as per our vision this mathematics is going to be of the order values features and format of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe and the same is also going to be parallel to the existence phenomenon within Purusha, within human body. So all what is existing within us is a subject matter of a chase of the values of the intelligence field which will be lively upon the consciousness field of our brain itself. This way we have to sit comfortably, take Vedic Ganita's text as a Vedic mathematics prayer and we have to meditate, we have to sequentially meditate, we have to follow the enlightened path of enlightenment of Lord Brahma, meditating within cavity of his own heart and multiplying tenfold and 
with the grace of transcendental lord and a step ahead we have to follow the enlightenment of the transcendental lord who meditates with the cavity of his own heart and the transcendental starts unfolding from within and it goes self referral and it is this way this sequential unfolding of the transcendental values from the manifested format is taking us bringing us face to face with the mathematics of the ganita sutras thank you very much